first time went to the Aragon was almost three years ago. I had only ever really been to like Allstate Arena before that. I grew up in the suburbs. And it was right after I graduated high school and I was with one of my very best friends, Dana Anahas, and I can't remember who we were seeing. It might have been Ollie Murs or something like kind of embarrassing. Um, but he was playing this the Aragon, which like isn't a huge venue. And it was just a really fun day for us because we knew that summer that we only had kind of a few months left of being super close before she went to one school and I went to the other. So we were at the Aragon, I think at like 9 a.m. to like queue up for the show because it's general admission. So of course you have to, you know, claw your way to the front. Um, so I just remember sitting outside the Aragon underneath the Lawrence train stop for like eight hours um, trying to occupy ourselves, having simultaneously the best start over. No, go. Okay. Um, and of course when we finally got in there we were like on cloud nine because we'd been outside for eight hours and it was just such a gorgeous venue like inside like it just wasn't what I was expecting because you know the buildings kind of run down and the sign doesn't always light up all the way but um, it was so pretty inside like with the, the ceiling in there how they make it look like stars and and everything and I just remember we finally got in there and we were like so excited it was just pure adrenaline um you know and I think that was one of the most fun concerts probably the best concert I've ever been to you know and I've been to some massive things that you know all state big arenas things like that but I think it's those little venues where you know you'll surprise yourself and how much fun you have and how much you know how much adrenaline it is when you're packed in with like such a small crowd because normally those crowds are smaller but they're full of a lot more passionate people you know it's not somebody who passively is like oh let's go see Katy Perry for $20 at like you know the nosebleed seats at the Allstate it's you know it's people who are there at 9 a.m. and you make friends with them and you follow each other on Twitter and, and things like that and you know because you're with a bunch of people who are really like-minded usually at these at these smaller shows and you know I've been to the Riviera and for stuff like that too and it's really similar and I just think that those smaller venues hold so much more for the concert goer than you know and there's something to be said about big arenas and pyrotechnics and great shows and you know those are fun experiences but I think the memories come from come from smaller arenas and I think I think that's why I'll always have a very special place always special memories about little little places like the Aragon <laughs> Oh. 